Stephen Twitch Boss's mother is remembering her late son six months after his passing. In an interview with People published June 28th, Connie Boss Alexander says, Sometimes it feels like it was just yesterday, and then other times it feels like it's been so long since I've seen him. The 59-year-old then adds, When I think about him, I try not to dwell on how he left this earth. This is not totally the end. That is where my peace comes from. Stephen died by suicide on December 13th at the age of 40. Connie tells the outlet that growing up in Montgomery, Alabama, her son, a dancer turned DJ and executive producer of The Ellen Show, quote, was always smiling, always willing to try new things. She recalls, if I had on music, he was dancing. He was the only male on his dance team in high school. That's how dedicated and serious he was about it. He didn't care that kids might be whispering. Steven went on to compete in season four of So You Think You Can Dance, where he would eventually meet his wife and mother of his three children, fellow dancer Allison Holker. As Connie shares with People, she was just 18 when she had Steven, the eldest of three boys, and they only grew closer when Steven became a father himself. She explains, as an adult, I think he really was able to see and appreciate some of the challenges I had as a young parent and we talked about those things. I'm the classic boy mom, very protective. If we weren't talking every day, we were texting. He was my heart. Thinking back on the days and weeks that followed his death, Connie continues, you find yourself in a lot of introspection, a lot of looking back. Did I miss something? Did he mean something when he said this? It was just very, very shocking. I don't know when or if I'll ever accept it. At this point, I'm in realization, I guess. When I wake up in the morning, it does hit me that, oh my God, he really is not physically here. But then in my head, I can hear him say, hey mom, I'm okay. Noting that some days are better than others, she concludes, it's funny when you look at your child as an adult. With certain mannerisms, I see the little baby and then a toddler and I'm chasing him down the hallway him looking back at me and laughing. And in high school, I see him crossing the stage and turning back and waving. I see it all now. If you or someone you know needs help, call 988 to reach the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline or visit 988lifeline.org.